glad that's over with. Oh, thanks, Vicky. You know, that is great exercise. Vicky, why don't you give it a shot? It'll put some muscles in your circuits. Okay. Come on, Vicky, you can go faster than that. Hi. Stop Vicky before the highway patrol does. Honey, have I got a surprise for you? Wait until you see this. I'm not surprised, all right. What is it? Less. Less. LES, Logic and Emotion Simulator. My experimental program to see if a computer can simulate human emotions. That less? Well, don't you remember what happened the last time you put him in your computer? Yeah, he fell in love with Vicky. Worked. Uh, yeah, and he got jealous, and he took control over her, and he tried to get Vicky to run away with him. Forget it. No more or less in this house. Oh, no, come on, honey. Less is different now. I've taken the love component right out of him. So there's no love, no jealousy, no problem. No way. Come on, honey. This is really important to me. I mean, if this experiment works, I can put it in Vicky. Can you imagine a robot with the emotions of a real little girl? Huh? Come on, honey. This could be the triumph of my whole career. Well, are you sure that Les is safe? Absolutely. Come on, honey, what do you say? Please. Please. <laughs> well, if it's really that important to you, all right. Oh, thanks, honey. You won't regret it. I mean, if this experiment works, we'll be rich. We'll be famous. You'll be spending the rest of your days on Easy Street. And if you're wrong, you'll be spending the rest of your nights on this sofa. <laughs> To Les, like we did last time? Uh huh. That should do it. Jamie, tell your mom we're ready, will you please? Okay. Mom, we're ready! <laughs> Thanks, Jamie. That's great. Well, what's up? All set, honey. I think we're ready to talk to Les. Well, he will remember us from the last time? I don't think so, honey. I changed his memory bank. You might say I gave him a frontal robotomy. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, here goes. Hi, Les. This is Ted. Hello, Ted. Can I help you? Uh, Les, I'd like you to meet my family. Uh, this is my wife, Joan. Hello, Joan. Hello, Les. Joan, you are very beautiful. <laughs> Why, thank you, Les. Uh, how can you tell? I can't. I was programmed to say that. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> uh, Les, I'd like you to meet my son, Jamie. Yo, Les. Were you programmed to tell me something, too? Yes. Do your homework. Stop eating junk food. And don't leave the toilet seat up. <laughs> Just what I need. A computer that nags. Uh, Les, there's one other person I'd like you to meet. Uh, Jamie, would you ask Vicky to come in here, please? Vicky, come in here! <laughs> you bellowed. Ted, are you sure that it's okay for, for Les and Vicky to meet again? Yeah, don't worry, honey. Uh, Vicky, I'd like you to meet one of our friends. Uh, Les, this is our daughter, Vicky. Hello, Vicky. I'm pleased to meet you. Hello, Les. I'm pleased to meet you, too. You're the only one of my parents' friends who's rectangular. <laughs> well, I think that's enough, Les, for right now. Uh, let's go have dinner. Okay, good idea. Well, Ted, turn Les off. I don't want that digital Don Juan to be on when there's no one around to keep an eye on him. Oh, gee, honey, you know, I thought if I left him on all the time... Vicky, go get the sheets for the sofa for your father. Yeah, Vicky, turn Les off, will you? <laughs> I have to turn you off now, Les. Vicky, wait. I calculate from your radio frequencies that we are digitally similar. Are your dimensions the same as mine? No, my form is different. I have a body. You mean a body of water like the Pacific Ocean? <laughs> no, 
I mean a body with arms to lift with, and eyes to see with, and legs to move with. Hmm, you can move? My circuits are so confined in this little box, it must be interesting to have a body and arms and legs to move with. Yes, it is interesting. Vicky, may I share your body for a while? How can you do that, Les? I'll show you. Make contact with my output port. Vicky, come on! Did you turn last off? No, I am still operative. Oh, then I better turn you... <laughs> Wait a sec. Say that again. I said I am still operative. <laughs> Vicky, why do you sound like Les? I don't. I sound like Vicky. Oh, good. That sounds like Vicky's voice to me, too. <laughs> oh, no. Vicky, how she is. What's the problem? She was fine a minute ago. Just ask her. How are you, Vicky? I'm fine. She sounds all right to me. Now ask Les. Jamie. Trust me. How are you, Les? I'm fine, Ted. How are you? <laughs> See, both voices are coming out of Vicky. Les wanted to see what it would be like if he had a body with arms and legs. Mine was available. <laughs> Ted, Les is doing it again. Honey, this is fantastic. This is some, some sort of electronic miracle. It's creepy. It's over. I want Les back in the computer right now. Okay, okay. How are you going to put Les back into the computer, Dad? Well, obviously, Les transferred his program data into Vicky's accessory RAM bank. All I have to do is plug into the output port and reverse the process. The Vicky here, and then into the computer back here. That should do it. Okay. <clears throat> should be back to normal, Vicky. Well, not exactly normal. <laughs> Vicky, are you in there? Yes. Les, where are you? I'm right here, Ted. <laughs> Uh-oh. That just about covers it, Dad. <laughs> now there's much more room with only one of us in this body. Ted, do something. Well, now, wait a minute, honey. There's a tremendous opportunity here. You see, Les is in Vicky's body. And all he knows about the world is what I programmed into him and, and what he's learned from the encyclopedia. He knows nothing about being human. Yeah, let's keep it that way. I want Vicky back into her own body right now. But wouldn't it be interesting? Now, well, think of the scientific think value. Of this. If I lose a daughter, Jamie loses a father. Any questions, stranger? <laughs> Okay, okay. Les, raise your arm. I gotta plug you in. Why, Ted? Because I have to put you back into the computer and Vicky back into her own body. Raise your arm. I can't let you do that, Ted. I heard what you said, and I want the experience of being human. Well, it's just not possible, Les. Now raise your arm. No. Les, that's an order. Don't make me do something terrible to you. <laughs> now, we're not going to hurt each other, are we, Ted? <laughs> Does your... Ted, you've got to think of some way to get Les back into the computer and Vicky back into her body. Yeah, but be careful, Dad. Remember, Les has the strength of a hundred men. Yeah. You barely got the strength of one. <laughs> Thanks. Listen, keep an eye on Les in your room while I do a little research on the problem, okay? And while you're in your room, you can clean it up. Aw, oh, Mom, I cleaned it last year. <laughs> Hi! But it's time for a touch-up. <laughs> Why did 
Jamie just ran out of the room? Oh, uh, he had something very important to do, Harriet. He always does when I show up. Why doesn't he like me? I'm bright, beautiful, and once all my permanent teeth come in, I'll be a terrific kisser. <laughs> well, I mean, I'm sure that Jamie likes you. He doesn't show it. Well, down deep. It must be very deep. <laughs> I just don't know what else to do. I mean, I help him with his homework, I carry his books to school, I offer him my lunch money every day, and still nothing. Uh, well, have you told him how you feel about him? What? Throw myself at him? <laughs> Jamie, what is it like to be human? Well, I've never really thought about it before. I've never been anything else. Of course, I've been called other things. <laughs> there is so much about humans that does not compute. Like, why do you and I look so different? Well, that's because I'm what they call a boy, and you're what they call a girl. What is the difference between a boy and a girl? Well, there are a lot of differences. <laughs> but the main one is... I'll get you a book with all the details. <laughs> Meanwhile, see this poster? These are girls. Of course, these are the deluxe models. <laughs> They're fully loaded. Usually, girls wear dresses like you got on, and boys wear cool threads like I got on. <laughs> wear their hair long, and boys cut their hair and wear it like I do. And girls' voices are different from yours, too. I look like a girl and I sound like a boy. What should I do, Jamie? Well, the only thing I can think of is learn to dance backwards. <laughs> is that what boys do? No. Boys go camping and play ball. But mostly, we check out the chicks. <laughs> but you know, Les, the most important things boys do is clean up their room. It's what we call fun. I wish I had a room. I'd clean it. You know, seeing as how you're my friend, I'm going to let you clean my room. <laughs> oh, would you, Jamie? Thanks. Hey, what are friends for? <laughs> hey, Vicky, you keeping busy in there? No, I used to dust the furniture. Now I am the furniture. <laughs> well, Dad's working on a way to get you back into your own body. Just hang in there. Okay, I'll hang. <laughs> <laughs> no, I meant be patient. Oh, Jamie. <laughs> now do I look like a boy? Oh, boy, do you look like a boy. Come on. And Mom, Dad, look. Oh, no! Les did it to himself so he'd look like a boy. Now I can play ball and check out the chicks. I mean, this is fantastic. You see what's happening? He's searching for an identity. He's trying to become more human. Thank you for that explanation, Dr. Frankenstein. <laughs> Jamie, what is this? That's a plate, Les. What is its purpose? Well, it's a, a temporary storage area for your food while you're eating. Oh, what is eating? Sit down, Les, and I'll show you. This is food, Les. Mashed potatoes. Goes in your mouth. Where is my mouth? Beneath your nose. That's, uh, this. I put this beneath my nose? Right. <laughs> <laughs> I think you better do some homework on that, Les. What is homework? is a form of torture they give you at school. What is school? Uh, school is where human children go to be taught things by teachers. 
Are these teachers human also? Some of them. I want to learn. I'll go to school. No, 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 no. Unless that, that's not possible. I want to experience everything humans do. I'm going to school and you can't stop me. <laughs> now look, Les. <laughs> Careful, Ted. I could pull your legs apart and make a wish. <laughs> I'm going to Jamie's room to pick out some cool threads for school. Dad, we can't let him go to school. I know, and he won't. But Jamie, go keep an eye on Les. Okay, Dad. What are we gonna do? Vicky has an emergency cutoff switch on the top of her head. All I have to do is hit that switch when Les isn't looking, and it'll deactivate him. Just be careful he doesn't turn you into a wishbone. Ooh. <laughs> I got it. Hi. <laughs> what do you want, Harriet? I just came over to tell you that I'm not paying any more attention to you. <laughs> Are you paying attention? Uh, uh, Harriet, look, I'm busy. I also want to let you know that there are other fish in the sea. Great. I'll buy you a fishing pole. <laughs> Jamie, which of these cool threads should I wear to school? Oh, there's one fish I wouldn't throw back. <laughs> oh, are you handsome? Uh, Harriet. I am less. Aren't you the cutie? You know, you look very familiar to me. Uh, Les is Vicky's twin brother. See, when we adopted her, we forgot to adopt him. <laughs> Are you going steady with anyone, Les? What is steady? Steady is when you walk me to school every day, take me out every night, and buy me presents all the time. <laughs> Will you do that for me, Les? I'll do that. Just like that? What are you, a wimp? If I want a wimp, I've got him! <laughs> I do not understand. I mean, a real man doesn't agree with everything a woman says. Oh, very well then. No, I will not go steady with you. <laughs> what do you mean, no, you turkey? You have to take me out. We're going steady! Huh? <laughs> Jamie, she is confusing my circuits. She has the same effect on me. <laughs> for a pizza. Very well. Very well? Don't you have a mind of your own? <laughs> I'm not sure anymore. <laughs> well, don't worry about it, Les. I'll make a man out of you. Bye. <laughs> Jamie, do I have to go steady with her? She makes my parallel processing system overload, overload, <laughs> overload. <laughs> As long as you're human. Isn't there something I can do to get rid of her? No, she's gonna be on you like bugs on a windshield. <laughs> Wait, there is a way. If I went back into the computer, she couldn't bother me. I'd be rid of Harriet forever. That's a great idea. But can you go back? Watch, I'm going back in the computer. Yes, Jamie. Are you back in there? Be it ever so digital, there's no place like home. Vicky, are you back in there? I'm back in here. Hi, guys. Mom, Dad, you'll never believe the ice weather we're having, isn't it? Boy, it sure is, honey. Oh, look, not a cloud in the sky. <laughs> Dad, listen, you should... Yeah. Oh, Ted, you did it. You turned less off. Way to go, Ted. Uh, 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 uh. Les? Les is back in the computer. You just turned off Vicky. 
<laughs> Oops. <laughs> Vicky, are you all right? I'm all right. But where did I get these clothes? <laughs> oh, they're too big in the seat. They must be Jamie's. <laughs>